Was it important to have similar cultures when considering marriage? Yes. Next question. No, I'm joking. Um, yes, for me personally, it was because I know that it skips a lot of hurdles. I know that if you have similar cultures or similar backgrounds, I'm Nigerian, she's Nigerian. We're not both same tribe, so I'm half LMA, half Yoruba. Which is she's AKA half, Rivers. Yeah, from River State. So my dad's from yeah. River State. And my mum is Yoruba. Um, but she is half Edo, half Ibo. Even though she claims her Ibo side. Um, if my dad sees it, it's going to be vexed. So no, it's the truth, that. don't it? That's the truth, <laughs> innit? You claim your Ibo side proudly, but your Edo side, you're not claiming that as proud, and that's your dad's side. <laughs> anyways, she, um, we were both Nigerian, so there's similarity. But even then in the tribes, there's differences. Massively, I would say. I want to say massively because in the way you do things. Think about how broad the difference could be in terms of. Let's say I was Nigerian, you were Indian. Then I was saying that's <laughs> that's, that's when you say massively. That's what I'm envisioning. Like, yo, I'm Nigerian. You're that's actually you're taking. Czechoslovakia, <laughs> and then it's like you're doing this thing. I'm doing. Do you know what I'm saying? But. There was a similarity that was very apparent. Yeah, there was a, a general respect. understanding. You know what I'm going to say? Like, respect for elders, cultural understanding. Like, when we came to your house, when my family all came, extended family came, and that whole process, like, I know you, you, didn't, you weren't necessarily on doing that kind of, like, step. So part of the traditional wedding process is that we have to go to, or the man's family goes to the woman's house to kind of, collect their bride per se in it but it's like a part of the wedding process so my family all got ready in uh, attire and came down to southeast london i came to meet cheese family and they hosted us and we had a good time and we ate and chill and um that was like a cultural expression i don't know what i'm trying to say and i think like the nature of our parents understanding my understanding of my culture meant that when I came to your parents and so forth, yes, there's a bit of a gap in terms of like, I think how your dad like kind of positioned himself in your family and my understanding of that. But ultimately in our culture, respect your parents, respect your elders. Do you know what I'm going to say? And we have a lot of that. So I think there was a big similarity there that I saw. I thought, okay, cool. This skips a lot of hurdles. I know some people who are in relationships and they've got like an Indian or so forth like partner and their family is just saying, yo, like, nah. That's so wild in 2023, though, like, in, if, in my opinion. Because, same, no? especially if you live in the UK, in cities like London, Birmingham, Manchester, whatever, like, it's so, your every culture is everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So you're so kind of interlinked, even if you don't have a deep understanding of the culture, like, you have some base level because I remember growing up and being in nursery like most people from London will have this experience like you just have every race of person in your nursery and so you just have a basic to like standard level of culture other cultural like other cultures how they interact with each other. You hear different languages all the time. Like Londoners are, most Londoners anyway, will be super comfortable not hearing English and might be able to identify the region. You know what I'm saying? Like the country or whatever. So it's so weird now when I hear that people, like obviously you might have some reservations if you're maybe Nigerian and you your child comes home with someone who's maybe Turkish Cypriot or something and then you just have no clue about their customs and stuff Mm -hmm. you might have some reservations but to be like yeah nah that's kind of wild but you know each of their own that's it man isn't it it's just people groups and so forth and cultures but for yeah for me I think it's important I think you just skipped a lot of hurdles and made sure we had a similar understanding from Rip so what do you think was important to you yeah, I think honestly, I um I just think nowadays like a black family setup is important. Um it was it, it, it became important for me and I think that marriage is like it's not just 
I love you, you love me. There's just so, now being married, you kind of understand that even infinitely more. And you need a village, you need, like marriage, you need as <laughs> to be in agreement on as many big themes as possible. Yeah. Because that is like, there's just so much to get on the same page about that if you're not on the same page about big things like how you want to raise your children, like what is important, how you want to like instill your culture into them, especially like for people who are second generation immigrants. Now our kids are like third generation. So obviously they get some, they will get some Nigerian culture through us, but it's not going to be the same way we experienced it from our parents because Mm we've grown up here like we have culture understanding they're gonna know where they come from experience their grandparents all of those things but their parents are essentially a blend of cultures which is black british culture which in itself is a culture and then nigerian culture which is all just mixed up in that because even when we were growing up there was more distinct jamaican culture distinct niger culture distinct but now Mm -hmm. i feel like the music, especially with the rise of Afro beats and everything, like black British culture is more like the sound, the food, it's all like a mesh. Now you'll see man with jollof and curry goat mm. on the same plate. And back in the day, that wasn't a thing. Do you know what I'm saying? As well. <laughs> so essentially what I'm trying to say is that getting on the same page is super important. And that same page might even look like Jamaicans and Nigerians, it's it's still very different cultures, but that black British culture understanding, because now Jamaicans more time will call like African mums, yeah, auntie. That's like a thing, do you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. of the culture understanding. So yeah, I think I think it's important because it's a big theme. Culture is a big theme. The food you eat, the way you do things, the way you speak, the way you, you know go about things, the way you move. Um, So yeah, I would say so.